Breaking world records in sports is no small deal, but that doesn't stop great sportsmen from taking up the challenge. In recent news, Lachlan Morton has set his sights on Mark Beaumont's 78-day around the world record. In today's video, we'll talk about that and look at some of the most incredible cycling records, so stay tuned to find out more. First up, let's talk about the world record. Mark Beaumont set the world record back in 2017 when he went around the world on his bicycle in just 78 days, 14 15 hours and 40 minutes. He broke the previous record set by New Zealand cyclist Andrew Nicholson. The news was given to the public by Lachlan Morton's team boss. The boss told us that Morton is now planning to challenge himself by attempting to break the previously set record. To attempt to break the record safely, Morton will have nutritional, mechanical, and logistical support. This might be a little distracting for the cyclist, who has otherwise has been pretty independent in his projects. This attempt will not be seen anytime soon, though sadly for fans, we'd have to wait. It was told that the discussion was still in its early stages. But Morton is very interested in taking on the challenge. Talking to Cycling Weekly, Walters, Morton's team boss, gave us some information about the whole thing. What we wanted to do was to try the around the world record in the second half of 2023, but the sticking point on that right now is Russia, he said. To break the record, Morton would have to start from one spot, cover the distance longer than the equator, and an additional 18,000 miles and finish at the spot he started at. Talking of world records, let's look at some other incredible cycling records. First up, the hour record. This record is often known as the ultimate cycling challenge. But what exactly is the challenge? Well, the challenge is to cycle the most distance on an arena cycling track within just one hour. The first ever record was set back in 1876, which was then broken by Victor Kepenarts with a distance of 34.23 miles. There has only been one attempt ever Ever since then to break Victor's record. Martin Toft Madsen attempted the challenge but unluckily was just one kilometer short of breaking the record. He covered a distance of 53.97 kilometers. The current record holder on the women's side is Joss Loden. With a distance of 48.405 kilometers, the record was previously held by Dr. Victoria Bussey. Next up, the one-minute turbo trainer record. Okay, so for this record, which is relatively new, there's always only been one record holder. No one has even tried to break the record, except the one who set it in the first place. But what is it for? Well, the challenge is to cycle as much distance as you can on your turbo trainer at a good speed. The record was set by Miguel Angel Castro back in 2009 when he cycled 1.27 miles in just a minute. Now that's super impressive, don't you agree? Wait till you hear what his average speed came to be. His average speed for the record was an astounding 76 miles per hour. Six years later, the cycle decided to break his own record when he rode over 3,060 meters in a minute. And if his speed before surprised you, this time his average speed was 114.0837 miles per hour. Following up, the land's end to John O'Groat's record. Any cyclist from Britain has at least once cycled the route from the most southerly to the most northerly point. It's one of the most popular distance rides. With the route being so popular, it's a given that there must be a record associated associated with it, right? There is. Michael Broadwith set the record back in 2018 for the fastest travel from one point to the other in the shortest time. Back then, it took him over 43 hours, 25 minutes, and 13 seconds to complete his journey. Remember, this was done on a conventional bike. For the women's side of the record, Lynn Taylor set the record back in 2002 when she covered the distance in just two days, 45 minutes, and 11 seconds. An integral part of this record is the type of bike used Otherwise, Andy Wilkinson cycled the route in just 41 hours, 4 minutes, and 22 seconds on a wind cheetah recumbent trike. Up next, most distance cycled in a year. Okay, so this one on our list is quite the challenge, and wait till you hear what the record is set to. We're sure it's gonna shock you. Now, the challenge was popular back in the 1930s, and the first record was set by Tommy Godwin when he cycled over 75,065 miles in just a year. The record was broken decades after in 2016 when Kurt Kurt Siervogel, a rider from the U.S., covered 76,076 miles on her bike. Now that's a lot of distance to cover in just a year, no? Well, if you think that's a lot, Amanda Coger covered an insane distance of 86,573.2 miles in 423 days. But she didn't stop there. She went on to complete the mark and did a good 100,000 miles, setting another record for the fastest 100k miles covered on a bike. Not to mention the fastest crossing of 
of Europe. Ever wondered how long it would take for you to go through Europe on your own? Well, you don't have to wonder any longer because Ian Walker, a student at Bath University, did it already. Going from the north of Europe to the south sounds a little hard, but leave it up to these determined endurance athletes to take up any challenge and stun us with their skills. Back in 2019, Walker set a world record when he traveled 4,200 miles on his bike in just 16 days, 20 hours, and 59 minutes. His route started from the top of Norway and ended at the bottom of Spain. The best part about it all? He got to see all of Europe and got a world record doing it. Sounds like a win-win situation, wouldn't you agree? Next up, mountain bike bog snorkeling. So this one sounds a little ridiculous, it's weird no doubt, but that doesn't mean it's not hard as hell. The event takes place in the UK. Are we surprised? The first ever record was set by Graham Robinson. This was back in 2010 when he set the record in just 51 minutes 37 seconds. No one has been able to break his record ever since, despite a decade passing since he first did it, and he's still the record holder to this day. No matter what we think about how weird the sport is, at least it got Robinson a world record, and that too with a good amount of effort. Following up, the most vertical meters climbed in 48 hours. Climbing a vertical distance on a bike is no joke, you guys, but again, that doesn't stop cyclists from doing it to show off their strong leg muscles and great skills. Cyclists climb the height of Everest and have set records for it in 24 hours. This record, however, lasts longer over 48 hours. Craig Cannon stunned the world when he set the record back in 2015. The distance he covered was an astounding 29,623.3 meters. We bet most of us can't even cover that normally, let alone vertically, not to mention the fastest ride across America. Back in 2014, Christoph Strasser set the world record for the fastest ride through America. The race across America is a very esteemed and honestly one of the hardest cycling endurance events, with a route that's longer than Tour de France. Strasser managed to cover all this long distance in just 7 days, 15 hours, and 56 minutes. After all, he has the most victories from Ram. So if anyone could do it, it was going to be him. Some people were quick to say that since the route for the event changes every year, the record should be about the highest average speed. But guess what? Even by that standard, Strasser is still the record holder. On the women's side, Sienna Hogan holds the record from back in 1995 with a distance of 2,912 miles. Finally, 24-hour distance record. Another record held by the insanely skilled Christopher Strasser. The Austrian cyclist set the world record for the most distance covered in an arena cycling track with a distance of over 585.253 miles. The velodrome in Switzerland, where he set the record, had a cycling track of 250 meters. Strasser did an astounding 3,767 laps of the track in order to read his goal. Could you imagine going around the same track on a bicycle over and over again all day long? That sounds like some pretty hardcore stuff. His average speed for the day was 39.42 kilometers an hour. He also held the record for the most distance traveled in 24 hours outdoors for a really long time before it was broken by Stanislav Verstavsek recently in 2020. Well, that's all the time we have for today's video, so which one of these records seems to be the most interesting to you? Let us know all about it down in the comments section. And don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to our channel for more similar videos in the future. With all that said, we'll see you in our next video. Into a pretty fascinating, diverse continent. And I guess my uh, fight.